Dolphin phone. It's a nightlife. You only maybe see a few dozen people during the day, lots of people on the beach. But night time, uh, Chalice Plaza definitely gets busy. People using the beach down there. The beach is ramped up with people. And there's a famous Little Idle supermarket. It's not little. It's not real little. Lots and lots of bars and restaurants, anything you can think of down here. Uh, food and beer is cheap. We've just had uh, four main meals and about 11 beers, and it was like 52 English pounds equivalent of. But well, Lira's peaked today at 33. 33 Lira to the English pound. You get your travel guys here, booking trips. Well, apparently, we've been told if you go down into Fethier, it's actually much cheaper, you get better value down in Fethier than booking it here. And this is where we've been tonight. You probably can't hear me, Crimson Bar. 60 li 62 ish liquor for a beer, an FS, which is about um, two pounds. Uh, just under two pounds for a beer. Very cheap, live music. We've got to walk the full plaza to where our hotel is, up at the top end, Hotel Malhun. Um, but just up the road from there is a place called Wonder Beach and as long as you eat and drink there the sunbeds are included and price again are very reasonable we had about five beers and wines each uh, cheese toasted, bottles of water and it worked out about £20 each for the whole day for two of us and I recognise that sound, Turkish dancing look This is where we were the other night. Again, very reasonable. Uh, large steak, three starters, uh, carbonara, a beer and a wine each, and it only comes to 42 English pounds. And these guys put on a good act with the dancing. The food's really good here. Highly recommend it if you like your Italian. It's all family owned. These are all the nephews of the owners. So there's a thing we found out, uh, our friends who are expats have told us that all the stray dogs here, the homeless dogs, are protected by the government. They have a tag in the rear and if you harm those dogs you go to prison. And all the bar owners and locals keep dog food in the cars and in the restaurants and even in the evening. Uh, some restaurant owners let the dogs sleep in the premises all night to give them a roof over their heads. We've got one coming up here. And they will literally lie in the middle of the road and not move and everybody just walks around them because they're protected.
like this little chap here. Oh, yes, I think you can see a tag in his ear. Yeah, so this guy's protected. Oh no, you can't see the tag. Hello, fella. Yeah, but quite a few dogs. I never just feeds them and looks after them, which is nice. Anyway, we've got a way to go. I'm not going to film all the way, but just to, uh, and I'll do another video during the day. The difference of how many people there are, less, uh, considerably less people during the day. It's very hot. Yeah, it's Byram tomorrow. Um, three day holiday for Turkish holidays, religious festivals. Uh, so all the locals come down here, so it'll probably may be busier tomorrow than it has been at the start of the week. Okay, see you in a bit.